Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be making Brazilian vegan pastels two different ways. One with a potato base and the other one with Beyond Meat. So if you want to know how to make these delicious pastels, just keep on watching. The first thing you're going to need are these masa de pastel, which you can find in any major grocery stores around you or your local ethnic food stores. They're pretty easy to find, but they do come frozen, so you're going to want to thaw them out while you prepare your potatoes. And the reason this one is orange is because it is seasoned with sazon. So the first thing we're going to prepare are our potatoes. I finely chopped them and just cut them up little so that they um, cook faster. So you're going to want to add that to a pot of boiling salt water and just leave it for 10 to 12 minutes. So while that's cooking, we are going to prepare our Beyond Beef. I use this in packet form. You can also use the patty if you would like, but this is my preference. I just feel like it holds seasoning a lot better and I feel like you get more um, product for your money. So the first thing we're going to do is cut it in half. Since I am only making 10 of them, I don't want to use the whole thing, so I'll just use the other half for another project. But, um, so what you're going to do is just cut it in half and put it in a medium bowl with a quarter of an onion. So for the most important part of this whole thing, the seasoning, I used a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of Trader Joe's chicken seasoning, the vegan kind obviously, and a teaspoon of black pepper. Seasoning is really all about preference, so whatever you have at home, you can definitely use, um, but definitely seasoning it, it's very bland without it. So after you add that, you're gonna just mix it by hand. Um, you can also use a spoon, but this is just how I was taught when I was younger. Definitely don't be afraid to get messy in the kitchen. I do everything with my hands because I just really enjoy it. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. So anyways, um, I'm also going to add a couple of drops of hot sauce. I love this Goya one. So all you need is a few drops. And then finally, we are going to add this garlic mixture, which is my favorite thing ever. I can't go without it. Um, it's basically just pureed garlic with salt, olive oil, and parsley. You just add it to your food processor. It gives you seasoning for such a long time. You can put it in a reusable jar just like I have here. This was once a spaghetti jar. And when you keep it in the fridge, it lasts you up to a month or two even. So we're gonna mix it again, making sure that the hot sauce and the garlic and um, the onions don't get like lumped into some pieces just cause we want them to taste pretty similar throughout. It sucks when you just get like a mouthful of onions when you bite into a pastel. So yeah, just mix it and make sure that um, everything is evenly spread out. So this is what it's gonna look like. Sometimes it still freaks me out how similar it actually looks to ground beef, but without their crew. So we're gonna rinse our potatoes. We're gonna leave them in the strainer for a little bit just to make sure they're nice and dry. We don't want, um, any wet potatoes into our pastel because it won't form. In the meantime, we're just going to finely chop the other quarter of the onion. Just make sure it's really small just so we have no chunks of onion. Because in the pastel, all we really want to taste is the potatoes and how savory they're going to end up. Nobody really wants to keep tasting onion. The onion is just there to add flavor. So a fun fact about me is that I hate with all of my heart washing dishes so you can really use the same pan or pot for the whole entire process so in this pot we're going to add a tablespoon of oil with that same garlic seasoning that we used for the beyond meat toss in those onions and just wait for them to be really translucent really cooked down this will take away the bitterness of onion and you'll just end up with a really sweet subtle hint of onion in your potatoes that should only take five to seven minutes to really cook down and become translucent so when that is all done you're going to add one cup of frozen vegetables just the ones that you find in the frozen um, veggie aisle at any grocery store that you have around you this is a really great excuse to use the stuff that's in the back of your freezer. Like this bag that I had was literally tucked away in the back of my freezer. Probably had some freezer burn, but we used it anyways and it just added a little bit more texture. So once that defrosts and most of the water is evaporated from the bottom of your pan, you're going to want to add your potatoes. You just stir this up until it kind of browns up and is really mixtured. Since it's already cooked, we don't want to overcook the potatoes. So just stir everything up until it's nice and mixed together. And then the best part of this whole thing, which really gives the potatoes flavor, is a sazon packet. 
um, in Brazilian culture, we use sazon basically on every single thing, and we are not going to make the exception here. Just pour the whole packet in it, and it gives this really beautiful orange color to your food. So mix that in, and once it's really nice and mixed, and it starts to brown a little bit, you are all done, and you can put it in a bowl and set aside. So I set the potatoes off to the side, and I started working on the Beyond Meat. In the same pot that I've been using this whole time, I just rinsed it off and reused it because I am too lazy to get a new one. So yeah, <laughs> toss the Beyond Meat into the pan and you're gonna wait, wanna wait until it's nice and brown. Uh, when you first put it in, it, it literally looks like ground beef, so you can kind of tell when it's done. It doesn't take too long since it's not real meat, so it's done fairly quick, I would say anywhere from seven to 10 minutes um, on high heat or medium high heat you should really get an even browning on the whole thing. So we are at the finish line here, basically. Um, this is the most time consuming part really because you want to lay the pastel out in a way that you can get all of the edges with a fork easily. So you're going to want to spread it out on your cutting board or even your counter where you have more space. So just lay them out in a fashion where it's easily accessible for you. So this is what it looks like all laid out and another important thing about the massage pastel is that if it gets way too warm they will stick together so kind of just lightly overlap them if you must but just make sure that it's not too warm where they start sticking together so i'm using an ice cream scoop just to get the filling onto the massage pastel and then i am going to make sure that it's not centered i want to put it either on the top or the bottom um, if it's in the center, it's not going to fold directly in half, so just put it on either side, the up or down, whatever you prefer. Close it, and then just use a fork to press down on the edges so you have that little um, that textured pattern. <laughs> So this is what they ended up looking like, like little crescents with the textured fork. And we're just gonna keep on doing this until they are all done. So once they're all done, this is what they end up looking like. I did five Beyond Meats in the flavored ones and then the five Beyond Meat in the regular ones and then switched that off with the potato. So I did five potatoes in the regular masa and then five potato ones in the orange ones. We're gonna stick that back in the freezer just so that they get nice and hard and that they don't kind of melt in the hot oil. So clearly this isn't a diet friendly recipe but it's quarantine, so who the hell cares? With pastel, what you're gonna notice is that when they are still raw and not cooked, they are going to sink to the bottom. And once they're almost done, they kind of flow up to the top, so you kind of know that it's almost time to take them out. So this is what they look like done. They are perfectly savory, perfectly soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside, which is just perfect. They are perfect just to try something different and add to a side of your meal with rice, beans, veggies and um yeah i really hope you guys enjoy i brought them over to my sister's house and she loved them as well as her roommates and her girlfriend so it was just a wonderful day in general <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoy this recipe if you do try it let me know how you like it make sure you guys like share subscribe to my youtube channel and i will have lots of these videos for you guys coming up so thank you guys so much i hope you stay healthy and you stay sane until next time bye